Most people in life are very much aware that their technology and their tools belong to them. The challenge of being someone who believes in recycling is often we find things that we can't believe are thrown away until we recognize that in communities that enhance and build and invite international citizens into our universities, we almost have a problem because most national countries, or I should say international countries, meaning those overseas, don't have the same electronics as us. They don't have the same technological tools as us. They don't have the same capabilities as us to modify the electrical cord to make them work. And even if they can make a phone work, it doesn't mean it will attach to their network. America is a little bit different. Our companies are a little bit more powerful. They can demand for someone's phone to work on an international network, but it's usually a short-term thing when someone's traveling abroad so that their family can connect with them. And they don't have to worry about those marvelous phone cards that we used to have in our family. I used to have a beautiful phone card of me and my late spouse. It was my favorite photo of us. But some bitch on wheels went into my photographs and ruined everything I had in my photograph albums and replaced them with photos of allegedly my biological family. I could kill them for that. My life and my history and my world is mine. Your life, your world, and your history is yours. But when you interact with someone, when you develop a relationship with someone, when you choose to spend time with someone, when you choose to earn with someone, when you choose to receive time in particular from someone, then you've created that relationship.